Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And it is the last Thursday of the month, and you know what that means, it's time for the October News Roundup. Because Mr., and I say this every month, had another incredible month, and there's so much stuff that's out right now, and a lot of stuff that's coming. Before you get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down below in the description as well. But right off the top, if you've never seen this board before, this is a Capcom CPS-2, and I did do a comparison video between Mr. and Original Hardware for those cores, and those cores are made by Hotego, and they're absolutely outstanding. But he's now looking for broken or dead CPS-3 boards. I don't know if he's received any yet, but if you have one and you don't need it, tweet him and he may be able to use it because he put up a poll asking who wanted what first whether he should do cps3 or the poly game master system or pgm now there's a ton of fun stuff on the capcom cps3 but it is all fighting games and it is a relatively limited sort of roster of games you can play they're all quite good there's no complaints as to the quality of them but there's only really like five actual games on the board but it is a quite expensive pcb to collect for if you want to get a multi of it running it's probably going to be around fifteen hundred dollars so it will be great to see this come over to mister because it's going to be quite far the easiest and cheapest way to play outside of software emulation but that doesn't mean that he's not working on pgm he's just asking what you guys might want to see first and that is always fun because trust me the pgm has a ton of good games on it as well and i'm really looking forward to seeing that come to mister hopefully next year because something like demon front right here is a spectacular kind of take on the metal slug franchise or a fighting game like martial masters feels like i GM's version of Street Fighter 3. I absolutely love it. And Spectral vs. Generation did a video on that as well. There's so much to love on the PGM, so if you are a Patreon of Hotego, go and vote in that poll. It might still be open at the airing of this video. I'm really not quite sure, but imagine getting all these incredible cave shmups on a PGM core. I'm excited about CPS3, but I'm equally excited about PGM, so hopefully we get both. On to the PlayStation 1 side, I did a video last Friday, if you haven't seen that, it should be in my playlist and my uploads as well. But Robert, the developer of the PlayStation 1 core, gave us some absolutely incredible updates. It is currently in a beta core that you need to download and install manually at the recording of this video, but I'm sure it's going to be added into the standard download all function soon. But we get 24-bit color mode, we get different sort of bilinear filtering strengths, and we also get a CPU turbo mode. This basically just takes what the PlayStation 1 was capable of and increases the power of it, and that is absolutely spectacular. I can't get enough of these sort of improvements. Robert's always doing a great job with the core, and you can see in this photograph right here just how things change. But the fact is, my favorite feature so far is the 24-bit color mode because removing dithering on Silent Hill when you're not playing on a CRT, dithering looks great on a CRT, so if you're playing on one, just leave it on. You'll see all of these rainbow color bands are kind of like a chromatic aberration. That's what I know it as. It's a film term. But when you turn on 24-bit color mode, suddenly that dithering is completely gone, and we have no banding whatsoever, and that is just an incredible look to see. Now onto the arcade side again, you'll see here that Hotego also received an original Rainbow Island PCB, and that means once he receives it, he's probably going to eventually start working on it. Now Rainbow Islands is an absolute blast of a game, it is the sequel to Bubble Bobble. Definitely a different type of genre game, some similarities, some differences, but it is one of those classic Taito arcade games, and the PCB isn't quite cheap. This may make some of you very happy, some people might not care about Rainbow Islands whatsoever, but I for one am excited to hear that Hotego has a board. Now onto the Sega Saturn side, SRG320 updated the core as well, and the major takeaway is games are functioning better and the audio quality is much improved, and that is spectacular, especially considering SRG320's current situation. But playing something like Mega Man 8 here, I talked about it in the video last week, it was just so good to watch, I couldn't get enough of it. And the sound quality is really the main takeaway. So after we get through this example of Power Slave, a game that used to freeze the first level but now moves on i'll let you listen to a little bit of hexen but listen to the quality of the audio in the sega saturn updated core and that's the big saturn takeaway for this month the audio sounds basically perfect so go ahead and listen and enjoy
The sound is just 100% getting there for Saturn, and you'll see that there are some more games for the SNK 6800 core. And SNK had a lot of boards before the Neo Geo, even for the most famous for that. But SAR Search and Rescue is an awesome run and gun game. It kind of feels a little bit like a Beastbusters game, but it's got some great gore effects. And I absolutely love this particular game from them. I did an episode on Unported Playlist a while ago. It's on my playlist if you want to check it out. But I'm so glad to see some of the earlier SNK stuff coming. So wish we were getting Beastbusters, but maybe next year, you never know. But you'll see it plays POW, Akari Warriors 3, Street Smart and SAR Search and Rescue, the game I played before. But Street Smart is working perfectly well, and it's a really interesting look at the beginning era of SNK, because it is a quote-unquote fighting game. It is fun to play, it's fun to look at, it's just one of those games feels like one of the precursors to something on the Neo Geo, like Art of Fighting or even Fatal Fury. But it's fun to see these older arcade boards coming to Mr. as well, because these are a lot of things that people probably don't have much experience of. Like Sega's Bank Panic, I was really surprised to see this coming over to Mr. FPGA. It's a small game, it's fun for about 10 minutes, but Mr. isn't just doing stuff like Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1 and Capcom CPS 3. Core developers are making things that are earlier than that era and are a lot of fun to play. But speaking of the arcade, back to Hotego again, it's a hot month for him. The Super Hang-On Beta for Mr. FPGA is available. You have to be a Patreon member to get that. But you're going to see right here, this is one of Sega's Super Scaler games. It is scaling sprites, and this was an incredible pseudo 3D look when it came out. But one of the big takeaways from Super Hang-On is this is also the hardware that something like OutRun is going to run on, and that is one of the most famous Sega games of all time. But right off the top, OutRun is running well, it plays well, it's everything you would expect, and this visual trickery of sprite scaling still does a great job today. But the real thing we want to talk about, and it's possible that it might be out tomorrow, you never know what Hotego's doing for his Fridays, is he is getting closer to getting OutRun running. You'll see here that he had some fixes to it and on a video like this you're going to see that it is running but the sprite scaling is not functioning correctly there's definitely some graphical glitches up top but i'm going to show you a video from a few days later in just a moment that's going to talk about how much closer he's getting but i love seeing how these cores get made and i love core developers showing us the progress they're making because this is one of the stages of getting something like outrun running you have to get things going and then he said he's getting really close to working sprites. And you'll see here, even from that previous video, that there are still some glitches in some of the sprites that are scaling, but it is getting very, very close to correct, which means that I'm assuming very shortly, at least for Patreon members of Hotego, we will be playing OutRun, and that is spectacular. Now, there were some small updates to the Neo Geo Core, and technically they're not in the core that would install with Update All or the Downloader. You actually have to download them from a forum, and I will leave a link in the description below. But remember things like Metal Slug on the original Neo Geo? Incredible game, love it, but there is some slowdown. It's down to some mathematical errors in the code. But now there are two beta cores that overclock the CPU one for 18 megahertz and one for 24 megahertz you can download these from the mr fpga forums and those should give you some speed enhancements on games that do slow down now remember when you do overclock a cpu that's not what the original target hardware intended and you may find some bugs developing in games that never used to be there because some things are tied to the clock cycles but if you want to give it a try you absolutely can it is great Speaking of arcade stuff, there is now added into Update All or the Downloader, the Coin-Op Collection, because don't forget, a lot of these cores get made by different people, and there's different ways to download them, but the Arcade Core Collection, or the Coin-Op Collection, I'm sorry, is going to bring down the following stuff, the Toa Plan boards, all of the SNK stuff, and some other things as well, so definitely keep that in mind and turn it on in your update if you want those. But that's everything that happened to Mr. in the month of October. It's a huge month, and it looks like we might be playing Outrun by November. We'll see when the next Sega Saturn Core update comes. They're always sporadic, and we never expect them, but we're always happy to have them. But leave me a comment down below and tell me what you're most excited about for Mr. in November. Short of that, I'll see you guys next week. I'll have videos for the week. Bye-bye.